Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. Today we will be unboxing and having our first look at the brand new Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, the Samsung exclusive red color. Now this exclusive color you were only able to get on samsung.com. The internal storage on this one is 256 gigabytes and I have not opened this yet. So this is also my very first impression. You guys are seeing it for the first time along with me. And then we'll also just take this out in the wild, walk it around the house, take a little bit of pictures, a little bit of videos, just so you guys can see what this thing looks like out in the wild and not just at my desk. Now, I do have to state that I am a little annoyed and a little sad that I had to wait an additional two to three weeks for this color to arrive. There wasn't any additional customizations that were being done at the time of order, so this color should have already been produced, manufactured, along with all the rest of the other colors. Now, I understood it that you had to wait a little bit longer when you were customizing the Galaxy Z Fold 2, uh, but this one was one that you're able to get easily uh, and accessibly off of the website and there is the color now for me this is the first time looking at it it kind of has this this peachy type of color going on uh, this color kind of reminds me of a google pixel for some reason uh, so now we're just gonna take this off now again i do want to take this outside i want to show it against you know the green grass and the trees things like that just so you can kind of get a comparison and a contrast of this color here we go, let's peel this one off. Now one thing that I would appreciate is if the S Pen is to match the back of the phone here. So this is kind of a salmon-y, peachy, reddish, you know, color that Samsung has going on. Now I would be bummed if it was just a black S Pen. So hopefully this one here is matching the phone and it looks like it is. So if you guys are looking for uh, or curious if the S Pen does match the back of the phone, it actually does. Now I do like, you know, kind of how the S Pen feels. I like how the back feels. It kind of has that, that matte finish. And so it's not gonna be, you know, super glossy, fingerprinty, things like that. Uh, so the other thing too, is that placing it into the phone, the, the experience of placing the S Pen in and out of the phone for some reason, kind of feels a little bit more tacky. It kind of feels, you know, kind of like, you know, it's it's not slippery going in or out. Uh, so it does actually have a pretty good feel when you were to, you know, take out and also put the S Pen back in. So this is what she looks like. Um, I mean, what do you guys think? Write your comments below inside of the comment section. Now, also inside of the box, what do we have? So let's take a look inside. Now there is no charging brick inside. You do have a USB type C to USB type C. You'll also have your quick start guide. Here's your SIM ejection tool. Uh, and I was kind of expecting to see some S Pen tips, um, but it doesn't look to be like anything else inside of here. Uh, so maybe the S Pen tip that is a part you know, of this brand new S Pen. Maybe it's one of those that is just really inside of there, one that you wouldn't have to eject. Uh, so I know that you were able to replace the, the pen tips earlier. So it looks as if this one is one that you may not be able to replace the tip. So I did remove all the plastic around the corners, the bottom, the edges, things like that. So what we are looking at here is gonna be on the left-hand side will be your S Pen. You do have your speaker grill. There is your USB Type-C charging, and then also your SIM port. Now along the right hand side, this is where you're gonna have your side key button, which could be used for either Bixby or the power menu. You also have your volume rocker up and down and then your camera set up on the back. Now I am a huge fan of this setup so much more better, you know, than the Galaxy S20, the S21, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 because you don't have that big, huge, heavy metal module thing around the camera sensors. There's no need for it. It just makes it uneven uh, and it's just not balanced enough. So this one, you know, I'm a huge, huge fan of just having the camera sensors. Again, no need for extra metal and aluminum and the additional weight. Now taking a look at the phone outside, you will notice that you'll see a couple different colors depending if you're in the shade or if you're in the sunlight. You'll also see a little bit different color when we go back into the house, you know, around the kitchen and then also back at the desk, which is a little bit later on. Now, I think it's really fun for these colors to kind of change, you know, depending on where you are. Uh, but again, I do kind of see that it's this peachy pale red color. Uh, sometimes you'll notice a little bit later on, it almost kind of looks bronze, 
when you go up against the Samsung Galaxy Chromebook 2. Now, if you're not too familiar with the Galaxy S22 series, you have the Galaxy S22, the S22 Plus, and the Galaxy S22 Ultra. The Galaxy S22 Ultra does include the S Pen inside the device, so technically it is the Galaxy Note 22 if we were to really call it what it is before the rebrand now the galaxy s22 ultra has a 6.8 inch display 5000 milliamp hour battery and then for the cameras you'll have a 108 megapixel main camera you also have a 12 megapixel ultra wide a 10 megapixel 10 time periscope lens as well as a 10 megapixel 10 time zoom. Now, if you are interested in the Galaxy S22, the S22 Plus, or the S22 Ultra, especially the exclusive red color, I will have a link below the video inside the description. So I went around the room real quick to find a couple different shades of red, just to kind of do a quick comparison of kind of this fleshy, peachy, reddish color. Uh, so one of them is going to be, you know, the Galaxy Buds. So this one is a deeper red, one that's very glossy. I love the matte finish when it comes over to this device over here. Uh, now this one over here is a little bit lighter, a paler of a red than what I would kind of expect. I mean, when I was buying some that was exclusive Samsung Red, I was looking for maybe just a darker hue or a different uh, shade of this red color. You can also see over here that the that my, my Rubik's Cube over here also has a color red as well. You know, this one would have been a really good happy medium with all the different reds that you see over here on the table. This one's kind of a fiery red. Uh, you know, color. This one would be a little bit too much for me to put over onto a phone. Uh, but then you also have this Ferrari red. So this Ferrari red would be something that I think Samsung should definitely go for, uh, you know, get some type of collaboration or just kind of get a color, you know, pretty similar to this, this color here. I think this one would be really, really nice uh, and just make it a matte color. So this is kind of what I was hoping and expecting when it came down to, you know, the color red, you know, something similar to that, or maybe this one over here. Uh, but here we go with the little paler peachy reddish color um, of the Galaxy S22 Ultra. So again, let me know uh, what you guys think of this shade of red in the comments below. Now, hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit and subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.